Hello everyone, Mizan here from Miss Press, and uh, this video is about how you can have xDebug to your Windows uh, driven, uh, you know, development environment, especially if you have uh, XAMPP to do that, you know. Uh, by default, XAMPP don't have xDebug installed or, you know, active enabled so what do you we have to do we have to do download the dll file for xdebug and activate that in order to do that uh, you know you need to have xamp in your server xampp so i believe you do you do have xamp on your server then what do you have to do you have to go to the xdebug.org and you have to just basically find this file uh, which actually you can easily get uh, just by doing this go there and then what you have to do you will see a lot of versions of xdebug just find out the right one for you for my one that is you know vc2 one minute uh, this one this one is my one so, which I am using at this moment you just can download any one that you like but this one would be the best one which I am going to add in this video uh, for PHP 7.0 version then what we have to do we have to go to the exam uh, hopefully here one minute so PHP then ext then you have to just paste that file over here that is this one and right after that what you have to do you have to go to the PHP INI file and uh, that is also here or you can just go from the exam menu uh, exam control panel and click on the config button and go there like this uh, I'm opening it with sublime or notepad will do for now okay so what do we have to do we have to go to the down of the file uh, just scroll down or you can hit control and from the keyboard and just basically copy it this code okay so based on your DLL you have to adjust this path then just copy the rest and uh, what oh uh, you t you should also do one more thing that is you have to stop I mean uh, turn off the output buffer from on to off what for doing that you have to go output buffer okay go up okay so output buffering should be off if it's not off you have to turn it off if it's on you just have to write off like this okay so basically that's it after that if you do a var dump uh, you will see everything uh, you know nicely styled with xdebug so you can easily find out any error or anything that you are looking for Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any difficulties on this one. Bye-bye.